Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to make a WooCommerce fraud grid or a slider using free Elementor. So if you have a WordPress website and you don't like the default look of your products, then you can design a custom grid or a slider using free Elementor which I will show you step by step. And as you can see I have a few videos about this topic in which we have designed products, we have import products, we have created product category grid or slider. So you can also watch my previous videos for more help. And in this particular video we are going to focus on WooCommerce product grid or a slider. And by the way, if you don't have a WordPress website with WooCommerce, you can watch my previous videos in which you will be able to make a website within minutes. So as you can see in my dashboard, I have these products. These are just dummy products. And I have uh, this look for the product. As you can see here. Now this is looking good. But in case you don't like this and you want your own custom grid that you can design with Elementor, then you can do it easily by watching this video. So let's see how. We will just go to our WordPress dashboard. And the first thing we need is Elementor obviously and then we will add a new plugin. So just go to plugins, click add new and here search for Royal add-ons. So you will see this plugin Royal add-ons, header, footer, builder, mega menu builder and so on. And just install and activate this plugin and by the way we have used this plugin in our previous video for making a blog post grid or a slider. So let's see how we can make a product grid as you can see the name here. Once you activate this plugin then you will be able to use this inside Elementor. Now for making grid you can edit any of your existing page or you can add a new page. So let's go to our pages. And I have created this in our last video so let's edit this with Elementor. And here you can see that we have a forced slider and a forced grid as you can see. So you can create these by watching my previous video. Let's remove all of these. And now we have a blank page. So here we can search for products. And you will see this Ugrid slider and cursor. Just drag this to the widget area. And this will instantly give you a layout like this. As you can see we have all the products with add to cart, the title, rating, price and category. And we also have a category filter here. Now if you like this one then you can just keep this or you can design your own. And for that you can just edit this. And here you can do the required settings. Like for the query products you can choose dynamic or you can manually select some products. And otherwise so you can order this by date, by sales, rating, price and so on. And you can also decide a specific category for this and specific tags. And you can also exclude some products that you don't want to display. And this is the number of products so how much product you want to display on a page. We have 9 here you can change this to 6 or something then you have no found text so if you don't have any products then this will display this text or you can just change this and you can exclude the products that don't have the thumbnail the image and you can also exclude the products that are out of stock then you can go to layout and here you can select a layout for this you can change the image size the number of columns as you can see we have three columns you can increase and decrease this this is the horizontal gutter and vertical so this is basically the spacing and if you increase this to 50 or something then you can see the space increased let's go back to 20 and this is vertical spacing this spacing between these columns and this is show filter so if you want to hide this filter you can disable this and this is pagination which is load more here you can also display or hide this and this is animation so you can choose default or you can choose zoom so let me show you the zoom effect if I choose zoom this is the zoom effect you can increase and decrease the delay and the duration if I increase this to 7 now you can notice the delay and the animation duration the most important one here is the elements here you can decide that which things you want to display like the status of the product which is this sale product category which is this title this one rating 5 star rating and price and add to cart and here you can decide the things like if you don't want to display the category you can just remove this and now as you can see we only have the title and the star rating and so on if you want to add a new item so you can click on this and here you can decide like you can display a title, excerpt, status, price, rating, lightbox, separator and so on. So let's add a separator. 
now you can see the separator if you want you can move this to this position now you can see we have separator here and you can move this to above or you can just remove this and then we have media overlay so basically this is this overlay options you can change the animation the duration the timing and animation size and so on then we have image effects so you can give this image some effects like grayscale blur in and so on then we have light box pop-ups so here you can do the settings for the slider which we will cover later in this video then we have filter option so these are the filters you can choose category for this or you can choose text for this and then you can set linkable filter so if you click on this this will be linked to its category page and you can also hide empty filters show all and so on this is the alignment so you can align this to left right or center you can also select animation for this then we have pagination option which is this load more button and here you can change the text for load more and if all our products are loaded then you can change the text here and you can select the animation for this alignment for this and so on so these are the settings that you can change based on your need and then you can go to style and you can style almost everything on this page like you can style the grid item which is this whole item the grid media which is the image the overlay the title except like i want to change the title color so i can go here can change it to something like this and then you can go to exact and you can change that you can go to categories you can change the category color and all of these are dependent on you that how you want the look now to quickly show you i can just edit this section you can give this some padding to the top and the bottom and then go to style you can give this some background like uh, this one and then you can edit the grid and you can change this background color to white okay let's change the background color here to a5 a5 so that you see the difference now you can see the width difference here and again you can just edit this you can give this some padding now you can increase this to 33 and this is basically this spacing you can also give this border radius up to 10 now you can see the rounded corners and you can also give this a rounded corner so for that you can go to grid media and uh, we will change only the top and the right so you can do the styling based on your need this is just to show you the difference and you can also style add to cart so for that you can go to add to cart you can change the button color the button background color to something like this and you can also go to star rating and we will change its color to yellow which is fine so this is how you can design a custom filter now if you want to switch this to a slider you can just edit this and you can go to content then go to layout and here you can choose list style or slider so let's choose slider now you can see we got a slider here with arrows and dots that you can style here in the style tab and the best thing in this plugin is this will also give you some ready made layouts so for that you can go to content again and here you will see predefined styles if you click this and as you can see we have this layout and this one which is available for free so you can use any of these let's say i want to use this one i can just click on insert now let's scroll down and as you can see we got that layout we have a title here and this is the status and this is the pricing add to cart and the category if you would like this look then you can keep this one and then you can just update your page and let's preview this so this was the slider that we created and this is the grid and again you can style this based on your need so this was how you can make a e-commerce product grid or a carousel or a slider using free elementor i hope the video will help you if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next